Well, I've always been interested in the topic of climate change because I have a major in geography that I studied at university, but I think it's just uh, become an increasingly relevant topic with the erratic nature of the climate that we've experienced over the last years. And um, growing up in a rural area, it's something that I've experienced firsthand and being a teacher, it's something that I'm constantly engaging with my students. Um, so I think I'm remembering back to when I was a child, you know, some massive droughts at home, plus, you know, at the moment, um, erratic weather through the rainfall, um, floods and all those types of things. I remember as a young um, young boy at home feeding out sheep in primary school. So they're some of the memories I look back upon. Climate change is all about real application. You know, the students around here um, experience it firsthand. Um, a lot of the students I teach are rural students. So um, what they're learning in the classroom is applicable going back home um, and what they're seeing on their farms as well. I think the students stay actually at the forefront of what is going on in the media and what's happening in this space and I think they will be the drivers of change um, in terms of climate change policy in the future. Um, well, I think it is in some ways um, quite scary some of the changes that potentially could unfold um, but I think when we've got active voice and really young passionate people on issues um, you know we can really steer really positive change in a rural area and all areas of um, Australia. I think awareness and education is um, the biggest thing because you know, I still think there's a lot of people that don't understand the issue or may have not had as great a exposure as some of the youth have. So I think education is um, number one and also creating jobs in this space around climate change um, before you know, people, um, we can try and you know, curb our pollution targets. We need to create jobs in renewable energies as well.